recording. Is there a writing craft book on your bedside table? Has it been there for a while? The other one on my shelf is Negotiating with the Dead, a Writer on Writing by Margaret Atwood. I got to admit, I love Margaret Atwood. I am a huge fan. Did you read it? I skimmed it. <laughs> Do you keep meaning to get past chapter two or chapter one or just the first page? This is my highfalutin one. Aspects of the Novel by E.M. Foster. Now, this is the guy that wrote Howard's End and Room with a View. And each chapter is from a lecture that he gave at Cambridge University back in 1927. Did you read it? No, it's written in 1927. It is so dry. And the first, like, quote, lecture is this meandering tribute to the guy behind the endowment for the lecture series. I never made it past page five. Then the Words to Write By podcast is for you. Hi, I'm Renee. I teach composition and creative writing to college students. My background is in poetry, but I'm working on my memoir. And I'm Kim. I'm trained as a science journalist, but now I'm trying my hand at short fiction. Each week we'll be tackling a chapter of some well-known, but perhaps not so well-read, writing craft book. All right, right in front of me, I got Bird by Bird. Yo. The Anne Lamont one. Did you read it? As a... Uh, teacher of writing, we only read one chapter. It's called Shitty First Drafts. Together, we'll uncover brilliant insights, face the hard truth, and totally disagree when the author is wrong. This is our podcast after all. Okay, this one is called Courage to Write, and it was recommended by an instructor of mine. I remember him holding it up in class and saying, this is the book you can take to overcome your fears of writing. So wait, you haven't read it. No, I was afraid of what I find inside of it. We're inviting you to read along or just tune in for the Cliff Notes version. Hey, what do you got next? The Situation and the Story by Vivian Gornick. It's a book for people who write a uh, memoir. Did you read it? I have, sort of. Sort of. I only read it while I'm camping. I take it camping with me and I read it because because you don't have internet access and it makes it the only thing possible to read. Be nice, but it's true. We're committed to improving our own craft, one writing advice book at a time, and we'd love for you to join us. Mm-hmm.